Hi, this is Robert Rothmeyer, Director of Library and Information Services here at Concordia Theological Seminary in sunny Fort Wayne, Indiana. It's been about six months since we did a video tour of the library construction site, and we thought it'd be quite appropriate for many of our donors and friends of the seminary who will be attending the Synodical Convention and also visiting our website to have an update on the construction process. Since the middle of June, the progress has moved from the concrete realities we were beginning to see at Christmas time into a three-dimensional reality as the steel has arrived and is beginning to be erected behind us. The area over the mechanical basement is now complete in terms of the steel erection and they've moved into the second phase of the steel erection to the northern part of the expansion and they will continue as we move through the month of July to the southern end and by end of July the steel will be completely in place for the library expansion. We're at the southern end of the expansion where the seawall comes to an end and where we've stopped the interior wall short of completion to allow about a 25 foot gap as a roadway into the construction site. This has been the zone that through the winter materials were brought into the site and now in the summer the steel is coming into the site. Behind us we have backfilled now all around the mechanical basement and we have the whole site brought up to grade Within that grade of compacted soil, we have the underwater drainage pipes that have been put in place and the concrete pads, some 80 of them, which have the bolts coming out of them that support the steel beams that go up to support the horizontal steel beams that will encapsulate the steel structure of the building. We're at the very northeastern corner of the library expansion site, looking over the site of the mechanical basement, which in December was very visible in its two stories below ground, but now is hidden by the steel on top of it, onto which a concrete slab will be poured, completely hiding the mechanical basement. This is also the zone where a lot of the ground has been torn up in order to bring in the utilities to the building. This morning, they're working on pouring a concrete wall where the generator for the building will be. They're also carving out the trenches where the stormwater drains are being put in place. Last week, they worked down this hillside to connect upstream to the geothermal system installed several summers ago to bring the heating and cooling into the library building. We're standing at the west side of the historic library building where the bridge that connects the chapel plaza with the library expansion plaza is being formed. We have the piers out of the ground. We have the notch made into the chapel wall. And the laborers this morning are doing a sack rub finish to the concrete piers to give it a beautiful architectural appearance like unto the chapel wall plinth uh, behind us. We've now come full circle around the library construction site. Over here from the west, we're able to see the connector unit going from the historic building to the expansion site, the steel rising from the concrete below. We're able to see the first phase of the steel over the mechanical basement, pretty well complete at this point, and the second phase of the steel begun. As the month of July rolls along, we'll see steel throughout the whole construction site. Now that we're up out of the ground and the site is much more active and progress is much more visible, we'll seek to bring our friends throughout the church who have been supporting this project and others who might like to join us in expanding into our future more frequent updates. In the meantime, we continue our summer classes here at Concordia Theological Seminary where we seek to form servants in Jesus Christ who teach the faithful, reach the lost, and care for all. Until next time, God bless.